We've all heard of the Day of Infamy, Pearl Harbor, and how it became a primary reason for the United States entering World War II. World War II took great toll on many countries, including America, but sometimes we tend to overlook the effect that it would have taken on the normal citizens. They may have questioned what they would have been able to purchase or what they, when they could use what. The aspect that I will be talking about is the food, especially the one that rose to popularity due to its relative accessibility, even through ra rationing. Food rationing had been a vague concept during World War I, but it was not strictly enforced, and it was mostly compromised of propaganda that they needed food overseas and to conserve what they ate at home. The propaganda included slogans such as, Food will win the war, and encouraged citizens at home to m purchase things such as fresh fruits and vegetables which would have been much harder to transport overseas and keep good. During World War II, it became obvious that this would not, that it would not work to have only voluntary conservation. Products ranging, ranging from transport due to a tire shortage to imported foods were given restricted access. Food rations were extremely impactful to the average American at the time. One of the things that came with a food ration in the War Rations book, which would let one buy a food product for how much, however much it cost a limited amount of times. Another was food vouchers, which would entitle someone to whatever food it was for. Food was restricted based on availability, and citizens were given points to get food. Because of rationing, a variety of once unusual or strange foods would be unpopular. Desserts often became much harder to come by because there was limited supplies to make them. One such was war cake, which consisted of small amounts of brown sugar, water, raisins, lard, cinnamon, cloves, and baking soda. This would have been something, probably been something that soldiers ate too, with the provisions that they had. Chocolate was something that was especially hard to come by which partially led to the rise of the popularity of red velvet cake. Velvet cake has been around since the Victorian era, <coughs> but red velvet cake was most popularized during World War II due to its ability to be made while even, even while on rations. As you can see here, it looks relatively dull on the outside as they would not have been able to decorate it much with what they had at the time. But on the inside, it has a bright red hue. Originally, this would have been caused by cocoa. The, by the cocoa used, it would have um, minerals that would have a lot of uh, color in it due to the pH and would have caused it to look something about like this. But during World War II, this was because of a multitude of food coloring, the food coloring used inside of it, as cocoa was a rel fashion food product and was as was most of this desserts ingredients but the ingredients that were rationed were relatively lightly used and it favors more of the general items that the masses could buy red velvet cake is made primarily of flour buttermilk butter sugar cocoa powder and red food coloring a texan company had found a way to turn beetroots into red food coloring that not only added a seemingly exquisite color, but it also became a retainer of moisture to make it last longer. Because of its later use of resin goods and use of dye to make it both last longer and look better inside, red velvet cake is one of the recipes 
that was able to rise to fame during World War II even though such recipes may warrant strange looks from outsiders that do not know its background. Thank you.